In today's video, five quick facts about Tuca from the series Gate, and that is coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. In today's video, I'm bringing you five quick facts about Tuca Luna Marciu from the series Gate. I've probably pronounced that wrong, but hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So this is my fourth and final Gate video. We've of course gone through Rory Mercury, we've gone through Atami, Lele, um, Lele, La Lalena. Love saying that, so, so fun. Um, so yeah, we'll finish things off with Tuca and then I'll move on to another series after this one. I've got an idea of what I wanna go for, so I hope you guys enjoy that. So stay tuned for that next couple of weeks because we've got, I've got a big video coming. Well, not big, so it's my year anniversary next week, so I'll be releasing something kind of special for that. But anyway, with that being said, let's get straight into the facts. Tuka is of course a high elf uh, and she's female. Uh, she has the appearance of maybe a 16 to 17 year old, however being a high elf, her age is actually 165 and of course 169 with a 4 year skip. She has light blonde hair and she has teal, lovely teal blue eyes. She's quite attractive as well, I'm a big fan of Tuka. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Keeping things saucy with Tuka, Tuka always felt that she was in fact a lesbian. However, once she encountered Atami, she had to rethink that position. So we're led to believe that Atami is the only man she is attracted to and she has that weird father-like thing going on, which is a bit weird. Uh, but of course we all know Tuka ha admires Kurokawa uh, and blushes whenever she is around her. So, you know, there was a, a big kind of like nod and a wink there as to uh, Tuka swinging, swinging that way, all for her. Next up I want to talk about Tuka's skills and abilities. So of course being a high elf, archery is up there. She's very very proficient at archery and she can hit her enemies from long distances. And she owns a compound bow. Also being a high elf she has an extremely long lifespan. This longevity means that she'll obviously live for a very long time but she'll keep the uh, extremely youthful and uh, nice nice looks, I guess you could say. Tuka can also use spirit magic. Uh, she can control wind to an extent, allowing her to enchant her arrows to fly faster, which is handy being an archer or archeress, I should say. Uh, she can also cast a sleep spell on multiple people at once, which will come in handy. In the manga, another skill that Tuka has is that she can play the lute and she sings very well as well. Though in the anime, she's shown playing harp. Sticking with the manga, the manga shows to us that uh, Tuka rather likes to sleep in the nude, which is awesome. I'm all for that. Um, the manga shows this in chapter 38, page 28 to be exact, and I'll uh, put that on the screen now. Uh, it basically shows her entering Atami's bed in the nude while she thought of him as her father, which is just a bit weird, but um, it, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Finally, Tuka is a worshipper of, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Luna Raya, I think, which is basically the god of music. Um, like Lele and Rory, she obviously wants to meet this god of what she worships uh, beyond the gate. In you know her case, it's Apollo, which is the Greek god of music, and uh, Hather, the Egyptian goddess of music. So you know she's very entw entwined with that music side to her. So of course she'd want to meet these uh, music gods. Which is awesome. But thanks for watching this my video. Five quick facts about Tuka from the Anime Gate. Hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you'd like to see more anime facts videos, subscription box openings, figure reviews and more, then hit the subscribe button right now. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Share this video with a friend or just leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know. Where do you think Tuka ranks in the girls of Gate? I think uh, I'm quite quite partial to be... I'm, I'm quite partial to, to Rory being best girl and the probably say Tuka's a very close second. Uh, quite like the elf, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> That's it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.